popular influencer has been allegedly charged with breaking the internet after recent eye-popping content that was released directly on their social media platforms. More on this later. Way kill Rich Homie Kwan. Yeah, people in our way was the one that gave Rich Homie Kwan the drugs. That's why he's just not getting ready to go all that. And Woody told on Pee Wee Longway, that's how Pee Wee got arrested so fast. Yup. Woody told what drugs was coming from. Cause y'all know Woody, he's under the US government. But yeah, that's what's going on in Atlanta. All right, did y'all see that girl from Atlanta that said that Pee Wee Longway is supposedly responsible for Rich Homie Kwan unaliving because of the um, things that he provided to get high. Now, somebody was in the comments like, oh, I don't believe her. She don't got no job. Da, 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 da. I don't know. People that be at the house all the time do have a knack for being in people's business, too. I, 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 I'm not going to hold you. She might be on to something. She even went as far as saying, oh, not only is Pee Wee Longway responsible for, you know, Rich Homie Kwan's unaliving in a way, but even Woody snitched on Pee Wee, and that's how they got Pee Wee so fast. Y'all, y'all can find out if this is true. If it's not true, y'all come back and tell me, but if it is, please let me know, because one... If I die, knock on wood, it's going to be from at home, or, or, or from me, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Catching a nut going out that way. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna put the boy in his grave, man. Yeah. You said he finna go well. Baby, that ain't no grave. Did you not see the grass still down there? Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, I know some of y'all gonna say, do you really think they gonna bury him right there? No, I don't think that. But my question is, why y'all just say leave the body in the church, finish doing the ceremony and then allow everybody to go to the repast? And then, if the family was going to watch the appropriate burial, set up the date or whenever y'all choose to do it. But we just do too much. You know, we, we as a whole race just do too much. But I don't know. Maybe he was just going to get back in the hearse and they were going to take him to the funeral home and he was going to get up out the casket and just walk the fuck away. Because, I mean, ain't no way all y'all sat up there and tote that body in them hot suits and that heat set out there just for them to have him sitting on above the ground where he not being lowered in the ground as you to as you dust to dust, baby. Ain't no way y'all did that. Ain't no way. I mean, y'all just wasted a lot of time, energy, resources. I mean, I know somebody else was looking forward to that day for the funeral. Y'all could have been over there doing their funeral. Ooh, I tell you, we just do too much. We do too much. <laughs> DC Youngfly, Rallo, and Boozy share their favorite memories of Rich Homie Kwan at his funeral. And that was my brother always, been my brother, you dig what I'm saying? I'm always, you know what I'm saying? Part of the family, so at the end of the day, he was a legend, he was an icon, you know what I mean? Any, any memories you can share? The one thing about it, man, he always was a family man, you know what I'm saying? He always was a man that stand on principles, stand on morals. Yes, sir. Uh, God bless. Yes, sir.
everything been a hum to God. I praise thanks to God. And what's your fondest memory of Quan? Me and her squashing our beef. Okay. That's my last time. Okay. Okay. Squashing your beef, that's yes, good. Sir. Yeah, you don't want to harbor any ill feelings toward <laughs> anybody. That's a blessing. I'm glad you're here to show your respect. Yes, Can you share some of your fondest memories with Quan? Or Rich Homie Quan? Quan get in the studio, he like to take his shoes off and have his shirt socks on and yeah. shit. So I got a lot of me. I got, I got a ton of memories with Quan. Quan yeah. stayed in my crib. Always called me on. Has this experience brought you closer to God? Think about your own mortality. Had you leaned into any Bible scriptures or anything? Oh, uh, nah, I'm tuned in with the word, bro. Right. I'm tuned in with the word. Right. Just another sad love. Why didn't Andre bother to send him to the hospital? Or at least walk him around the house a little bit when he literally found him laying on the floor with food in his mouth? Nobody just randomly wakes up at 3 o'clock in the morning just to put food in their mouth and get back on the floor. Clearly, that man was not well, and that's how he ended up on the floor in the first place. And from the looks of it, he didn't inform Amber about this either because she didn't bother to check on him that morning and just went on about her business too, despite seeing him laying on the couch. Ouch. I'm pretty sure if she was aware of what happened earlier that morning, she wouldn't have just walked past him on that couch without checking on him. Oh, but it gets even worse because TMZ somehow got a hold of the emergency 911 call Amber made that morning. And this is when rumors about him possibly being poisoned came in. Not only that, but this 911 call made people suspect that Amber is a possible suspect because of how calm she sounded. She was telling the dispatch writer about how Quan was foaming at the mouth and how he was cold. But people couldn't help but notice just how calm she sounded. I need an ambulance. Tell me exactly what happened. Um, my boyfriend, he's been asleep on the couch um, since this morning. Well, he never came to bed last night. Sleep on the couch. I left him on the couch before, before I took my son to school this morning and put a blanket over him. And now I just checked on him again because he never got up. I don't feel a heartbeat. I don't see him breathing. And you said, hold on, you said on the couch and what happened? I said I put a cover over him because he gets a little cool and he's in the living room. And now I just checked on him because I see he never got up. And I don't see him breathing. I don't feel a heartbeat or anything. And I turned him over. I see he kind of foamed at the mouth. I'm sorry, are you saying he's not breathing? Is that correct? I'm not hearing you. Yes, yes. Okay, ma'am. Um, if there's yes. a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it.